Yo guys, here I am. Sorry for the late video, but uh, yeah, I was coming from the ice and uh, I was really, really busy uh, taking care of some business. I'm launching a, a brand now. It's really, really coming soon. And I put a story on my Instagram saying that I was gonna record a video with some questions about uh, yeah just beginning of the season about the my ice experience so this will be just a short video talking about my experience this uh, this year on ice and also the the past previous years i saved here some questions i'm not going to be able to reply to all but i'm going to select a few and uh, yeah here we go first one how was the transition going when first trying to skate glide fast on the outside edge so this was and it's still it's a uh, one of my main issues when i when i skate on the ice is to try to perfect my technique especially to skate on the outside edge and also coming from inline i have uh, a lot of a lot of errors, a lot of mistakes that I that I do, that are still not uh, in my head automatically. I still have to to think a lot when I skate, and uh, that's an issue. It takes more time to to be able to do everything like really natural and uh, without thinking too much about the technique. But it's going good, and um, yeah, step by step we are uh, improving. And this year was a really, really nice year. I was uh, for the first time uh, training in Herevin. And uh, yeah, with Skate Force, Coach Peter Yorn, he helped me a lot. Also with the other guys. So it was it was a pretty nice step. So outside edge is still a struggle. But with time, I think I'll, I'm going to be able to perfect my technique. Another question. Uh, Ice speed skating or uh, inline speed skating? Uh, yes, for like inline skating, it's the sport I do for uh, the longest, and it's the the sport that I love. And uh, when I first started on uh, on ice, the first year I went, it was I never thought about uh, competing or uh, yeah moving forward. It was just something I would like to try just for fun. And I went, and uh, yeah, immediately I I fell in love because. It was something different to do, especially because uh, yeah, winter here in Lagos it was not really busy, so it was uh, some fun training to do on uh, on the winter. So the first times I tried it was just because I wanted to do something different and I wanted to try, but yeah, I immediately fell in love and now I just want to to improve, and it was uh, nice to have another challenge to start something from uh, from zero, because in uh, inline spin skating. I was already in a, I'm already in a high level and it was some it was nice to start something from a, like being a beginner again and uh, having the beginner struggles the technique starting on a C division B division uh, and seeing my my improvements from uh, from zero to yeah where I am right now it's not really really perfect but uh, the fast improvements that become from when you start on a, a new activity so yeah for sure it's something that uh, i'm attached now and i want to to keep improving so for sure i'll keep inlining because i love it i love to race i love the races on inline but yeah we, also i uh, i was more attached because i started to race marathons on uh, on ice and marathons as uh, the the other race that i have uh, my goal set up that is on a mass start they are quite different from a long track and it's the the kind of race that i like that is the similar to inline skated that is racing together with the with another guys uh, other question uh, what's the qualities uh, that you have that uh, change uh, separates you from the the other skaters that stays behind you <laughs> Yeah, it's a really tricky question, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's not uh, like really a quality that changes 
there are many factors that can uh, really imply like the, the the result of a race but i think my main qualities is that i'm a really competitive guy i always like to do well to perform well to do good results and uh, i could notice that when i when i moved to to wise now and uh, yeah it was uh, i was really really bad but i was always making an effort to improve and to have the the best result possible and uh, yeah it was competitiveness is uh, one of my main uh, one of my main uh, characteristics that i like to develop and uh, do do well and when it's one of the things that make me makes me improve so fast and uh, when even when i started at the the sea races i wanted to improve beyond the front and then I moved to the B, it was uh, another goal, the other guys were much, much faster, but I wanted to improve slowly, and uh, yeah, even when I go back to ice and I'm still really bad, I still want to do good, and uh, I think that's one of my main characteristics. And uh, yeah, the last question, because I don't want to make the video too big, it's uh, what's the goals for... Uh, the eyes so my goals for the eyes are uh, uh, since I was really attached and this year I was uh, really really lucky to to find a good group with the uh, uh, as I told you in Herenvin that have uh, also another inline skaters skating with it Martin, Tim, uh, Valentin, Giovanni and uh, we made a, a really nice group and uh, we are all more or less at the same same level, same stage, uh, trying to move from inline to ice. We have the somehow the, the same mistakes on the technique, so we could relate uh, really well to each other. So it was really, really motivating this year and I was really happy to be there and uh, see my improvements. And uh, for sure the goal for next year is try to go more time to to ice because uh, overall i went uh, already for three seasons but uh, it was for a short period of time so i just have uh, overall less than five months on ice and uh, yeah next year for sure i want to to start develop also the the federation the the winter sports federation in portugal so i'll be able to race internationally uh, make a good time uh, again on the 1500 to be able to start racing the the mass start race on World Cups and uh, also make a full season uh, on the B group on the marathons. Those are the, the main goals for uh, ICE next season and uh, that's what I'll be working for. It's already 8 minutes. Sorry I don't have the time to reply all the questions but I hope you like the video and uh, I'll be sure to make more videos coming soon, so make sure you subscribe the channel and stay tuned. Bye guys.